Hi there, my name is Tony Amo and I hold space of healing, navigating challenging life transitions and also personal and spiritual growth. And in this video I'm going to be sharing some of my thoughts on self-worth. It's something which shows up so often with my clients and also it's something which shows up with myself, you know? I suppose one of the most challenging self-worth areas that I have had to work through and still working through is like body image, for example. For some reason or another, I have had low self-worth when it comes to in terms of the way I look. I think part of it is like gay and gay culture and, you know, having to always look amazing. I also think it's just society in general. I also didn't have the best role models when it comes to like romantic partners growing up. So that's also something um, that I have had to work on, but it's also something which I just show up in my clients all the time and It shows up in many different ways, right? It shows up in terms of being able to set boundaries Choosing partners that are good for you choosing jobs that are good for you because we don't think that we are deserving And I don't want this to sound like oh like I don't have to work for showing up at my best or I don't have to work for having a good job I still think there is value in like hard work and putting in effort and self-improvement and, and finding that imbalance with just being as well like it's, it's this fine balance there but I do think that a lot of people really need to go inward to do the work on themselves that can that they can show up at their best but also to understand that they have inherent value and that we shouldn't allow people to be rude towards us to be disrespectful to not um, act towards us with kindness. And there's a part of us who are allowing that to happen, especially when we're adults, right? We have to move into a sense of agency. We have to take responsibility for our life. So there's a part of us which is allowing it to happen. But there's also something which is like learned behavior. So it's this quite complicated thing. But a large part of it will start with creating that sense of stillness in your life to really go inwards and begin to feel into your authentic essence, your authentic spirit, and from that place, beginning to choose what is good for you. So like, for example, a good, um, a good advice that I was once given is that, for example, let's say you have a child, and I would assume that you want the best for your child. And what you can do is to make it into a third person. So if you are deciding or making a decision, what would be best for that person? And then also make that decision for yourself, right? because you do have inherent value and you should choose things that are good for you and move away stuff that is like toxic or unhealthy and so on and so forth. So yeah, self-worth is a real sort of tenant of our sense of well-being. And it starts with you taking a moment to begin to make decisions that are um, respectful towards you, kind towards you, and start sort of dancing that dance of shifting people and behaviors and so on and so forth in and out of your life to really live with that sense of fulfillment. So yeah, choose your own value, you know, choose your self-worth. Not in a sort of cheesy kind of way, I sort of kind of don't like it either, but I think there's something really important there. If you have any questions about self-worth, feel free to leave those questions in the comment section below. I would love to answer them.